Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Automation Loop. Suppose there are a huge amount of queue items present in your orchestrator queue and you want to update or edit a specific queue item. So how do you do that? So in this video, we are going to see how we can update or edit a specific queue item with the help of orchestrator API. And we will be doing it from the UiPath Studio using orchestrator HTTP request activity. So if you want to learn more about RPA UiPath and its features and implementation, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the recent update. So let's get started. So to demonstrate how we can edit or update the specific queue item, I'll be using this particular queue which is dummy queue and if we go and view the transaction we can see that there is one queue item present in this queue let's view the details of this queue item and we can see that there is a specific data which is name and the value is john and the city which is london so we will try to change the name and the city value of this specific queue item with the help of orchestrator api from the studio using orchestrator http request activity but before moving on to the implementation part there are some configuration which you need to perform to access the queue item component from the orchestrator i've already created a video on how you can do the configuration to access the queue item and you can find the link of the video in the description box below. Once you have done the configuration settings, you are good to go to edit or update the queue item. So to implement, let's go to the UiPath Studio. So here I have created the sequence and inside the sequence, I'll be dragging orchestrator HTTP request activity. So first of all, we'll be getting all the queue items from the queue which is available on my orchestrator. Because to edit or to update the queue item, we will be needing the queue item ID that we want to update. So first of all, we'll try to get the queue item ID by accessing all the queue items from the orchestrator. So once we have dragged the orchestrator HTTP request activity, the method to access the queue item will be get. The relative endpoint will be a string, which is odata slash queue items. And as we are getting the response from the api so we don't need to pass any json payload here so let's create a variable to access the response so we will be getting the response in a json format to deserialize the string to the json format we will be needing deserialize json activity let's drag it here if you are not able to find the deserialized JSON activity, just go to the manage package, go to all packages and search web.activities. And you can install this dependency to find deserialized JSON activity. Then we need to pass the JSON string, which is response in our case. And let's create a variable JSON response and just print it with the help of right line activity. Just save the workflow and run it.
and in output panel you will find all available queue items of your orchestrator so we can find the queue item that we want to update which is let's add this name john and city is london so simply we will be copying this id and we'll store it in the notepad we got the id of the queue item that we want to edit now we will be dragging one more orchestrator http request activity and this time we'll be editing the queue item so to do that http method would be put as we are editing the queue items and the relative endpoint will be inside double quotation slash o data slash queue items and we need to pass the queue item id that we want to edit so i'm copying this queue item id that we have got and i'm providing inside a bracket just click okay now we are editing the queue item so that's why we will be providing a json payload so to write down the json payload first we need to enclose the json payload inside a double quotation because we have to pass the data as a string then put a curly braces and inside the curly braces we have to pass the name which is name of a queue inside single quotation in our case the dummy underscore queue is the queue name so let's copy it from the orchestrator and provide it here then comma then we need to pass priority colon inside single quotation we have to pass the priority we can also change the priority of the queue item so if we go to transaction we can see that there is a normal priority so let's provide the value let's say hi comma specific content and put curly braces and inside specific content we have to pass the data we want to update so in our case if we go to view details we can see that the name and the city so we have to update this data so let's provide the exact name which is name colon the value we want to update for this specific data so let's say i'll be changing the value from john to priyanka put comma then city colon inside single quotation let's say pune so this is the format in which we can write down the json payload so simply we'll copy this and we'll paste it here let's click okay so here in the orchestrator http request activity to edit the queue item we have passed the json payload in which we are changing the data the method put and the relative endpoint which is slash o data slash queue item and the id of queue item that we want to edit so relative endpoint that means we don't need to provide the orchestrator url to access the orchestrator component with the help of api because our orchestrator is already connected with a robot also in the output section you can create a variable for json response and the status code just to ensure that the api call is working fine so let's create let's say status code and 
We'll just print it with the help of right line activity. Just to ensure that our API is working fine. Let's save this and run this workflow. So our workflow has been executed successfully. So let's go back to the UiPath orchestrator and see Q item has been updated or not. So this is the Q, which is dummy underscore Q. And this is the transaction we were having. So let's refresh the page. And you can see the changes that priority of this transaction has been changed from normal to high. Let's go to view details. And you can see that the name has been changed from John to Priyanka and city has been changed from London to Pune. So this is how you can edit or update any queue items by providing just its ID with the help of Orchestrator API. So I hope you like the video. Stay tuned with me for more such videos. Till then, happy learning. Thanks for watching.